My name is Tukure Tukure. I'm from Hansi district. It's a western part of Botswana and I'm a board secretary for Botswana Kwedom Council. Botswana Kwedom Council is, a, is, a, is an NGO which was restarted in 2008 for Mali. Uh, we exist to lobby and advocate for sand rights. And one of the portfolios that we really look into are issues of leadership and representation, issues of culture, issues of land, you know, and issues of uh, women, young people, and di disabled people. We have board members from uh, across the country and we have divided the country into five districts. So from each of these districts we have two board members which are representing dire regions or districts in Kwedom Council Board. There are so many challenges, you know, the same people in Botswana we are still in abject poverty. And some of the reason why our people are still in poverty is maybe issues of education. You know, a lot of our people are uneducated, they are not, they are illiterate. Yeah, they are not going to school, there are a lot of issues of school dropouts. You know, you know if you are educated, you can do best for your, your communities. So these are some of the issues that we have as in people. And there are also issues of leadership and representation. And even our, you know, local areas, you know, issues of chieftainship, we, we are not represented fully, so there are a lot of issues that we face as sons and people in Botswana. The government of Botswana is addressing these issues, they are trying to address these issues, but unfortunately they, don't, they want to address these issues on their own. This is an unfortunate part of it, because the issues that the same people are facing now need also the same people to be part of the process. You know, The government needs to come up with projects which are people-oriented, which are same people-oriented. The government, government is doing this on its own, you know. Sometimes the same people are not part of this thing, so that is where the challenge is. Because even the implementation of this program sometimes are very slow. What the government should do, I think, it's high time for, for the government to find ways of empowering people. You know, let's not fish for them. Teach them how to fish. That is our argument, you know. For example, I'm, in a, I'm, I'm now a degree holder, but I'm not working. So if I'm a degree holder and I'm from a very small village where most of people know that Tukuri has gone for school, but now he's not working, they cannot get motivated. What we're saying is that if they are sent people who are educated, government should create employment for them. They should be working as we speak now. And that will be a role model to even the young people. They'll say, oh, if I go to school, then I will get a good job. And then, you know, I will buy for my parents, you know, I will do everything for my family. So now you're also helping government. If the government of Botswana want to design a program, they have to go out to the people and say, you know, we want to develop this program for you. Um, what is it that you really want? Because you have to develop a program that people will do and will like to do.